Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be showing um, just the most easiest way you can make um, terracotta studs. Now this is something that I picked up um, almost about uh, I think about seven eight years ago. Uh, these are a bunch of cutters that I picked up at a store in Bangalore um, called uh, MK Fancy. Um, you know in Jayanagar fourth block. Um, I'll leave that uh, particular uh, name of the store in the uh, description box of the video. And uh, these this these cutters really make make it very easy for me to make uh, um, simple terracotta studs, like daily wear studs, really light ones. And uh, I'll show you how I'll probably make like about you know ten easy quick studs with just this these many things and simple really simple tools. So let's get started. Um, I have a well needed ball of clay and look at this, this is all is what I'm using. I may not even end up using so much. Um, I'll just make a flat slab. Uh, I'm looking at a thickness of roughly um, 0 0.25 centimeters. really simple and in one go uh, you know because of these cutters uh, making studs would be really really easy okay and yep this is it the method obviously remains the same i'll probably flatten it out have this with me I see an air bubble here so I probably avoid this part altogether I might just make something here have a round shaped cutter remember this is a stud so obviously it always has to be a pair it's obviously a given I have a petal shaped one I mean, it's it's as easy as this and I will have at least um, anywhere from like five to ten pairs easy something like this We'll obviously regain uh, shapes as, as we start working on them. So I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's literally how many we ended up getting. Um, so I've, you know, I'll just, this is it. 
we still have so much of clay that's left over from that so it's I'll just show you a quick way how this can all come into shape and we can flatten it so I'll work on the round one first the sides go a little bit flat in the knife this one this is the petal shaped one next one more like a kite shaped actually this is we work on this one this diamond shaped one This is probably looking a little confusing uh, given that there are so many shapes but I'll show you how all of these are going to be designed and they're finished off um, as very very pretty studs. Really light in weight and something that can be a regular or daily wear, actually perfect for daily wear jewellery. You see how simple it is all I'm doing is just smoothing out the smoothing out the edges a bit and then using my knife and just flattening the surface that's it that that's all is what I'm doing There. now we start designing them so we start slowly picking out the designs and then we will start working on them so I have a round one here I have a pen just do a simple design something like this the clean end of a knife just work on Oh. 
here you go we have one here the floral design my knife nothing too complicated I'm just showing you how easy it is to just use these these cutters and uh, make some really simple designs work on this one oh, sorry the leaf There you go, you have a simple leaf design. Work on this. These would be really innovative uh, to paint because say if I'm, when I'm doing something like this, I know this is going to be a dual color design. Um, you know, I'm going to paint it in two tones. Uh, so one can be a black and a white or a red and a gold, maroon and a gold, something like that. So, you know, when, but then it obviously looks really plain uh, in this particular manner. But when we paint it, you know that the end product is going to look good. And we work on this. It's pretty kite shaped ones. Finger is probably coming in the way, but uh, because these pieces are really small, uh, you know, it's it's just this much. That's it. <laughs> just make a little dot here and here. I have this one here. We work on this. So all I'm doing is I'm just I'm just drawing lines on each side like this now just because they are small doesn't mean um, you know you can't be very creative with it you can it's obviously restricted space but you can still be very creative with it and uh, try and work on multiple designs have a little nozzle here Just put a small teeny tiny little dot. That's it. This one. Just draw a line in the center. Like this. I just do it 
so um, I would just do this on one side and not on both sides so when you are doing this just make sure because it's a pair you want them to be opposites and so don't repeat this design on this design on uh, sorry on this side just do it on the opposite side so that's very necessary something like this because you're going to be wearing it on the left and the right you don't want both the designs on the same side design here okay cute little heart it's pretty little thing here I'll just keep this simple something like this Just using a nozzle and putting dots. Really small and cute. And they are really going to be very, very light after once they are fired and painted and assembled and it's, it's just really really lightweight earrings and to this you can obviously be creative enough and add stick beads or u-pin beads or however you want to do it so i would just quickly like i said i will show it to you in a finished manner and that's exactly what i'm going to do so we'll start setting this up in a way that it's clear in the video so let me just this one Just gungru beads and yupin beads, whatever you want to use. So I'm just putting, um, you know, either stick beads or gungru beads. You can do anything that you like. But just look how quickly we were able to do. Um, okay, I think I lost count of my count of the number of studs that I've done. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a pretty decent number. Just using these cutters, really simple tools and you know, just a fun way to get things going. I would add like one like this. Something like this.
feel free to you know be creative with designing these just because there is lesser space it doesn't mean you have to restrict yourself with designs i think you can be really creative with things like these not done anything complicated on these um, on these earrings I've maintained them simple so that it's um, I just wanted to show how how easy um, you know it can be to make with the help of these cutters these cookie cutters um, it's a it's something that I really value because um, I don't know I think years ago I had probably picked this up for um, less than maybe even a um, I think about 80 bucks or something like that and this was a really long time ago oh okay i ended up making 11 okay Um, the reason I'm also showing this to you is obviously with practice you will catch up on speed but I've um, you know I, I'm not too sure but what is the length of this total video but that's exactly how much it has taken me to make these 11 pairs of studs um, I have not compromised on the neatness or the quality or nothing of that sort and I have uh, you know just completed this You have these studs ready. Really cute ones and um, it it's it's as simple um, you know to just it, i think it's it's a it's a it's genuinely a great way to uh, go about making something really this simple just by you know picking up a set of these uh, i think there are roughly about 15 uh, 15 cutters uh, in this little box and um, i think it's a pretty good uh, pretty good pick uh, so this is one of my favorite uh, so I just wanted to show you what can be done. Uh, I have not even used all the cutters in this. I've just used about 11 pieces and got out these many designs. And all these studs are really simple, lightweight, daily wear. It just it just fits the bill. I really hope you like the video, everyone. Um, if if yes, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned because we will be uploading a lot more such videos. Thank you so much.